on that point about, you know, the rankings and, and kind of having that stress of knowing I'm, I'm competing with everyone and I also can see I'm doing well or maybe I'm not doing well. What in your mind, if you had to analyze it, what's the difference between an average SEAL Team 6 operator and then a guy that is just, he's playing a different game than everyone else? And and I don't know if there's like a, a name, or, but I'm talking about like, what's the difference between the all-star guy and then the average? It, it, does that exist? Or, and if it does, what qualities or attitude is in between them? You know, I saw the guys, uh, at least the ones that I looked up to and respected, were um, they always had their, their uh, they always had their wit with them. You know, they never lost their cool, um, never had to tell anybody how good they were, or um, you know that that to me. I don't know where I got that from growing up, but, you know, I was kind of always told without being told, you know, you have two ears and one mouth and I couldn't stand the individuals that talked all day long, told you how good they were. Um, just talked crap about anything. And because I always felt that the second you opened your mouth about something, um, you know, you're going to get, you're going to get slapped at some point you're going to get brought down to reality and so i always was a humble individual and i always respected the individuals that were humble and i felt like always the the best operators that i looked up to and worked with were, were guys that you never had to uh, never had to tell you how good they were uh they were just good in in, in including leadership you know the the um the senior you know the officers that i served with um of course the best officers were never the ones that had to yell or scream or raise their voice. They were just good leaders and they can just look you in the eye and, and tell you like it is and tell you what you need to know. Um, and when they didn't know the answer, they'd ask for advice and opinions. And, you know, those, those were the best guys in, in, in my opinion, David. And I've worked with plenty of them. I, I love hearing that the, it's just loaded with, uh, to not to quote Bill Rapier again, but I will, but the way he said it is, every dude is that dude. Yeah, and he was, like, he never said anything. And here I am telling you, he's probably one of the best guys I, you know, got, I looked up to because he didn't have to. You looked at the guy, he was a stud. I think he was like a, you know, black belt in, in, in BJJ and, um, and uh, could do everything, shoot, move, communicate, lead. But I don't think I ever heard a word maybe ever from him, right? Um, aside from, you know, saying hello or maybe doing some type of training evolution. And, and those are the individuals that, that are really, yeah. I mean, you get to your squadron 